Hi guys, sorry if there's any noise in the background. Chip and Kevin are in the other room playing Ghostbusters and I'm trying to be quiet because I really don't like people hearing me talk to a camera. I'm still trying to get used to that. Anyway, I'm going to be doing an unboxing. It's this package that I bought from an Etsy shop and the name of the shop is Dragonfire Glass. So I'm just gonna open it. I've had this for quite a while, as the case is with most of my packages, so this is me opening it up months after receiving it. So this is my first ever UV resin kit. I've never used resin before, I am pretty nervous for it, I'm quite intimidated by chemicals, so that doesn't help. <laughs> the kit cost a total of $28.50 and it came with this information card as well as these finger protectors. I won't say what I usually call them, but I think, you know, anyone old enough to recognize the similarities can guess. <laughs> it also comes with this little UV lamp, which is the main reason I bought this specific kit because it came with a lamp and it came with this um, 100 gram container of UV resin. So I'm gonna open up the lamp and take a look at it. It feels pretty light. It looks like it's a USB powered lamp. I don't know if that's gonna make things easier or more complicated, but I guess we will find out. So this is interesting. Um, yeah, so like I said, it's a USB powered lamp and I guess I just hold it over what I'm trying to cure with the resin. I thought it was going to have a stand, so yeah, I, uh, this isn't quite what I expected. Maybe I just didn't read the details good enough or something, but I'm sure I can make it work. So the other thing I'm kind of nervous about is I don't know how I'm going to apply the resin. Like, I know it's got the squeeze top on it, like that, but um, I... I think I've seen people usually spread it with a paintbrush, and I don't want to ruin any of my paintbrushes. And I don't know, people say that soaking them in alcohol or something like that will help it, but I just, I, I, I don't know, because I've heard a lot of people say that's just a myth and it doesn't help. So I'm not sure, maybe I'll just spread it around with the tip or something. So I've moved onto the floor by this power strip I have. I didn't want to plug it into my computer because my computer is really old and I'm afraid to, fl to plug anything into it like this. I'm sure it would be fine, but I just don't like to take chances and I worry a lot. Plus, I know it's carpet, but I'd rather the floor get ruined than the computer desk. So I'm just gonna start squeezing the resin out, I guess, and I'm gonna, like I said, spread it with the tip instead of using a paintbrush. Hopefully that's not breaking any rules. Oh yeah. <laughs> Forgot to take off the tip, or the cover, whatever. I'm getting a lot of air bubbles and I believe Nerdy Crafter said you can just like light fire next to it but I don't remember if that's UV resin or regular resin or if it doesn't matter but fire also scares me so mixing fire and chemicals probably won't go well for me. I'm also noticing this really strange thing. Some dripped over the edge and it has like this gel-like texture. I'm probably supposed to be wearing gloves while I'm doing this. I'll be sure to wash my hands really good. So that didn't go too badly. I'm still pretty freaked out by the chemical smell and the the heat and everything, but overall it went okay. Um, I definitely think I should invest in like a rubber tip brush to use maybe, so I can get a more even coat because the Scarecrow has a really big dip like right in the face area. 
It also feels kind of sticky too, even though it's been fully cured because the lamp actually has a timer on it. So you just keep the lamp over it until it turns off and that's supposed to be how long it takes to cure it. But I did read that it's okay for it to be like a little tacky after and it'll fully cure by itself. I think that this could be a very useful tool in the future. I'm really glad I gave it a try and I got this. Um, I'm going to look into other things I can do with it. Until next time, I will see you later. I totally just stole Jazz's outro. Whoops.